All right, let's let's make a video because it's our third one. It should be our third okay. one and the last one we need for the week, right? And then you and I, we're going to be on vacation. We are. Yeah. Yes. So everybody, welcome back to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Radio Man Zero Three. Variety Three is here, but Gypsy is well. She's got to work, <laughs> so she's not here. She can't. She can't play with us. I. She cannot. Yeah, she cannot. I have been working on the electrical stuff uh, up on the roof so that you guys will be able to see better. Uh, so we're just uh, putting spotlights on all the corners, like so, and we'll be able to uh, have them point downwards into the, the battle zone, the battle zone. So that's what I'm doing right there. I'm, I was just kind of fiddling around with the wiring. Nothing fancy just yet. We'll probably change it up a little bit later on. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to get it working. I've never done it before, so that's what I was doing, is working towards that kind of a goal. Uh, but the wiring tool is really cool. If you just right-click on this uh, uh, relay, you can just come on over to here and boop, click it right onto there. Now, those two guys are fired up and ready to go. And then I can do the same thing right down here. Right-click on this. And right over to here. Boom. Just like that. So those guys are ready to go. Also, uh, on the corners, if you remember, we had this at kind of an angle. It was just big enough for us to slip through every now and again. So I fell through it. Gypsy fell through it. So I took them out, and I uh, replaced them with the um, these little squares here. And so now there's no more falling through this anymore. Uh, we're also going to work on the blade traps today. I've got blade traps. I want to get those installed. I've got concrete, the rebar frames, all that good stuff. So we're ready to rock and roll with that. But first thing I'm doing is kind of getting this stuff all set up. So right click and right click. And if you want to take it off, just left click it and it'll come right back off. Now I can't actually pick the things up up here. Uh, Variety has to do it. She's got her land claim block up here. We could take hers out and put mine up here so I can, you know, move this stuff around. But so far, so good. I'm just being careful with what I do and it should work out just fine. I've only got two generators. I'm thinking about putting another one right on this side, another one on that side so we can divide the power up evenly. We've got quite a few engines and we've got several good engines. So I'm kind of what I'm doing is I'm putting a good engine in. Uh, if we look, a really good engine, a second pretty good engine, and then a smaller one down here. And you can see we get uh, output of 227 watts. So if I turn this on, uh, we're using up. We're using 22 watts right now, so we've got quite a bit of power that we can still use. So I'll turn that off, and we won't ha have that running. But uh, we can add three more engines in here, and we'll go out and find more engines as well. Uh, I've got the iron bars working to finish this up. Variety is making a ton of ammunition. Tons. I'm trying. You're, she's trying, but she's been real busy getting the ammunition in. Uh, we want to go downstairs and take a look at what we're going to do for our blade traps. Uh, we've got furnaces going like crazy downstairs, so we're wound up going to have witches showing up while we're out here working. They seem to like this corner the most, so what I'm going to do is kind of remove some of this stuff. Uh, these, uh, these spikes. I'll take this one out of here right now, and we're going to put... I want to put these kind of uh, central, centrally, like right back here where this guy is. I think what I want to do is take this out. I think I want to take that. Well, let's 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 get a trap on our hot bar and take a look and see. If I do this right here, see the 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 barbed wire is going to be in the way all the way. This is the it's the trap, the blade trap is a three by three, so it's taking up nine blocks. So I need to take those guys out, and then I think what I could do is this right here. Now that's going to get them as they come in and. It's going to help chop them up. So this guy is going to sit. Yeah, he's going to sit right there. So let's get one of these put in and see how it works. I think Variety is going to just be so joyful when she sees the zombies get chopped up. Joyful. Joyful. She's going to be like, oh, I'm so giddy. Look at how fun this is. And we're going to put Fun the... with zombies. Fun with zombies. Playtime with the zombies. And we're going to hit that. And that's going to be upgraded already to uh, uh, full concrete since we used the rebar frame. So that's our first trap right there. Uh, this gets a little hairy in here. I don't know that I can walk in between these two. I guess I can. Good. Uh, what do we got here? We got zombies floating around up here. Let's see what this has got in it. Uh, we'll take we'll take that stuff. What the heck? And let's get that zombie out of here. There we go. So let's see here. That's our ooh, ah, ah, that's our first trap right there. Um, where's our next one going to have to go? I want them to 
cover the area really well. I think I can get another one right there. Let's try that right there. So that's going to be our spot. Never used these before. This is the first time we're trying it out, so we're good to go. Uh, we're also working on getting a bunch of steel put together so that we can upgrade all of this stuff to steel right off the bat. But we can't have the barbed wire there because it just won't let us do what we need to do. So we're going to do that right there. Again, with that, pop that guy right down there and we're good to go. We can move on to the next one, which is going to be... Uh, we could probably spread these out a little bit. I don't know. Um, let's let's take this, move it over to here, and this here, and then let's we're gonna move things around a little bit. That's gonna confuse me probably, but whatever. Um, so these blade traps actually cover. Looks like it just the radius of what they cover the three by three area. So if we have a gap here, I'm hoping that they'll bump into each other and they'll they'll move around and, and smack into it. Oh, here comes a witch. Old Blue, come on, baby. I need you. Missed. Let's crouch so she doesn't see us right away. Ouch, 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 ouch. I think I got her before she screamed. Looks like it. Come on, get back up. Looks like we got her before she screamed. Awesome. Okay, so that's going to be a 3x3 three three area. I'm going to move... Let's get our axe on as well. Uh, we'll take the club off. Let's put our axe on and let's get these out of here. These are going to hurt us every time. There we go. Um, how far do you think these blade traps should be apart? You got, an, you got an opinion on this? I have never even seen a blade trap in action, so no, okay. I would not have an opinion on that. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's try. Remember, right I have not watched this stuff intentionally, so I'm surprised. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be surprised, all right. We we'll get the relays <laughs> off our bar. These things are amazingly fun, and oh, we got. Get rid of the rest of this barbed wire. So maybe what I should do is break away. You can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put these guys right down here, and then I'm going to wire them up top, and I'll put relays up here, and then I'll bring the wire down from there down to these traps. But that should work. So we got one, two. Looks like I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do what I'm doing and put them... Uh, Oh, well, that guy had steel on him? Wow, that's crazy, huh? Let's check this one here. A pair of shades. We could scrap those. Awesome. So we're getting ready for the next horde night. Uh, so our next one is going to be... What do we got? One, two, three. Between one, two, three. And then so the next one goes right here. Is that right? I've got three open spikes and then the trap. So one, two, three. So the next one goes right here. I'll keep you here with me for just a little bit longer. We'll get this one row laid. I don't know if it's going to come out even or not. I'm just really trying to get this stuff just down right now. There's another witch. we got tons of witches showing up. Just tons of witches. Let's get this out of here. Uh, we could not get a spike to go down in here, which is kind of weird. So then one, two, three. So the next spike is going to go right... The next trap's going to go right here. We're going to get this out of here too. I'd forgotten about that, but remember we had that one spot up here where we could not get the spike to go on on the ground? Yes, I do remember that. I don't know why that is either. It's really strange. We do that. Do that. That. There we go. And we should be able to put this right here. Take a hammer. Do that. And we could take blue off and put... I've got him right there. I forgot I moved him. Right there. And does not like barbed wire. Let's see. If I do this... Yeah, see, it does not let me put something down there. I don't know what's going on here, but it's, it's very strange. Oh, you know what? I think I just fixed it. 
Oh, there was a small piece of stone or something down there. Oh. Yeah. From digging. Oh, okay. So, great. We could fix that. We could put another spike down there. So that guy goes right there. That's lovely. Let's get these guys out of here. There we go. And... Wow, look at the damage done down here. So are we not doing the scrap iron spikes? We're upgrading everything to steel now? Correct. That is the natural progression. Steel is the highest we can go. And then there's something we can buy from the traders. And I think we eventually will be able to make it as well. But it, it, um, it goes over the steel even. And makes it really, really strong. So one, two, three... So our next blade trap is going to go into this area right in here. Ouch. Can you make steel spike? Or do you have to make the iron spike? Oh, God. I'm still taking damage. Hold on. I'm taking damage here. Ouch. 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 You make the, the scrap iron spikes, and you just have to keep upgrading them. Okay. Sorry. I was uh, being killed by my own trap. I heard. Hurt real bad. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do that, and we're gonna do that. This isn't about pretty guys. This is about learning just how things work for this first season here. I think what our goal is to kind of get to day forty-nine, right? Fortnite forty-nine. See if we can survive through then and make it through that night. Variety. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need to go over there. Oh, jeez, this is gonna hurt again. Come on, get through there. Get through. You, yeah, suck up the pain. Take the pain. There we go. Now we should be able to put that on there, like so. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, okay, so this area's got a little more going on than the other side, because this part of the building kind of sunk in a little bit. I'm going to get these out of here. What do we got over here? This is expensive. It's very expensive, yeah. You definitely have to constantly be going out to get uh, resources. 25% water. Let's drink. Let's use a bandage. Get our health up. Let's drink some water. There we go. Beautiful. So you have to have the scrap iron because you have to upgrade the scrap iron spikes. Mm -hmm. And then you have to have the steel as well. Correct mundo. Yeah, that's costly. Yeah, it's uh, it's expensive, but I think that's the, why they got it kind of set up that way, where the you know the hordes just gradually get stronger. I can actually put that on top of that spike. I didn't realize that. It's okay. We're gonna do this anyways. Oh, that's one of those blades. Oh. Pretty sweet looking, huh? I'd like to step mm -hmm. on that thing while it's spinning. We'll try it out today too. We'll test it. We get a, like a horde coming through here or something like that. We'll test it out and see how, how it does. This part here, guys, we got to dig this out and get this concreted up too because the zombies are really taking advantage of us when it comes to that. Uh, okay, so one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so we're going to be here this time with this one. Um, yeah, we actually want to be back here. Is that right? Am I in the right spot? Let's see. I think I am. I should be one now. I should only be one away from the front. So I'm a little too Do far Do you know back. that your helmet light is on? Oh, is it? No, it's not. It just, you know, that's weird. It, I guess it must show that, but it wasn't. I just, okay. I just checked it, yeah. Taking a lot of damage here, putting this together. Uh, do we have, uh, I think we have some spikes up on the roof. Do you want to bring them down here and fill in these gaps? Yeah, they're, they're in my inventory. I'm just looking for oh. gaps. Yeah, come over here. i got a gap I need you, I need you to fill. Clear a pass so you can get in here. There we go. This, the furthest one back there. Here, let me put, uh... Let me put this down so you can see that. And then put... Can you put a spike behind it? Uh, yeah. Oops. 
One, two, three, and then we're gonna come over here. The next one's gonna go right here, like so. One, two, three. Oh, beautiful. Nice, 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 nice. So we need this barbed wire gone, this barbed wire gone, and then we are sitting right here with this next one. This should work. I mean, there's, there's areas where they're going to be able to walk through and not be hit by the blades, but I think with us above moving around, it's going to make the zombies move around. They crawl anyway, so I think it should be good. I don't have scrap iron to upgrade that on me. I could oh, ouch. I can see if I do. I do. I did have some scrap iron. Oh, we gotta get rid of some more of this barbed wire. Right there, like so. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take a break, okay? I'll come back when we get these all oh. in, all the way around. And then we'll fire them up. Oh, that looks like it's not quite right, huh, this area. I screwed this up. That's okay. That's alright. We're just gonna keep going with what we're doing here. Okay, the traps are in. Uh, I've got relays set up up here, but I don't think I need them. I thought I was going to have to run a wire from one of these electrical relays straight down on top of the trap, but it looks like I could connect the traps one to the other. If I hold the uh, wiring tool in my hand, you can see that uh, coming off of here and down from here, I went straight down onto this trap and just kind of ran the wire across. Now, I don't know if they break the wire or if it's the trap that they break, and then once you take this off, you can, you can see the wires down there. They may break that wire. I don't know. I don't think they do. I think it's the trap that they wind up breaking. Uh, but anyways, we've got that generator hooked up to this bank of traps right here. So now we're going to run over here and take this generator and run it to all these traps down below here. So I think I could just go like this and just uh, aim down there. I mean, you can reach a long ways and then just click, right click again and click, right click. Bring the trap on over here and click. You can reach a long ways, which is really nice. I hope they don't change that because it is pretty handy without having to be jumping up and down on stuff to, in order to work. Uh, I could just reach the stuff from here like that. And then we're going to go over to here like so. Another one. They're not perfectly placed, keep in mind. I mean, again, like I said, we're just kind of practicing with stuff in this first season here. And then we'll get a little more fancy schmancy in the uh, next season. But right now, I'm just kind of having some fun with, with this stuff. Okay, so that one's already wired. So I believe if I hit left click, yeah, it just takes that wire off of there. All right, I think all of the traps are wired, Variety. Okay. So if someone else shows up, we can just fire this thing up. I want to. Are you away from the traps now? No, I am not. <laughs> I want to see off, how, I want to see how much power they're using. Well, wait just a minute. Okay. She's, I'm just uh, trying to fix all of the yeah, scrap iron stuff. Fixing and upgrading the spikes because they are going to be vital to us as well. And then I think we're going to put some log spikes further out. We'll probably take these wooden ones down and do some different stuff. And we've got to upgrade the gravel out front. I'm going to set my coffee here. But I don't think I needed all those relays over there because it just wires up so easily. But I just I just don't know if the zombies will break those wires. I guess we'll find out or you guys will tell us. And By then it'll probably be too late because we're on day 33. Day 35 is the next horde night. I think... Oh, there's a oh. witch. Okay, oh, let me turn her. it on. Oh, she's going to see me. <laughs> oh, we got to turn the other one on too. I am, like, trapped in a really bad spot. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Witch ground up like, like, like nothing. Oh, there's all kinds of things coming in. I'm down here. Nice, look at this. We got a radiated cop down here. Oh no! Oh, he just blew up. That's gonna cause a bunch of damage down there. We need to get these other spikes out of here so they go into the trap right away and not get hung up out here. I mean, it's okay. 
Horde Knight, but right now I'd rather they just come in here and get chopped up. There's the football player, he's dead. There's somebody alive down here that I don't see. That's a punker, I got him. Well, there you go. You got to see it firsthand right down there in front. Oh, I missed Yeah, one. I was stuck in it. I missed a trap right over here. Let's see, we gotta get this one right. wired. Oh, it is wired. Why is that one not spinning? Are we using too much power? Let's see. Uh, looks like we've got, we need more and more battery in here in order for this to work properly. We are maxed out, so it's probably not running because we need another engine. So we'll grab another engine or two and put them in here, and then we won't have to worry about the power. Yeah, this one is also just about maxed out. Maxed out. And I probably should take these motors and repair them also. So let's go downstairs. We've got a few leftover engines, a couple of really nice ones too, so we'll, we'll take those out. And now I gotta fix that trap that that cop blew up next to. Dang it. Is there damage? Uh, there's gonna be. He blew up, so yeah, I'm gonna take that and that. I believe I need those two things in order to fix the traps. Um, what else am I doing? 90 degrees oh, yeah, still. You need, it looks like mechanical parts and... Scrap iron and... There's someone else making noise down here. Oh, I see him. Okay. Um, He's one of those workout gals. Oh, I was down here for an engine. Oh, it's right here. They're going to be right here. Right here. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's grab... Let's grab two of these really good engines. And two more... We'll grab this small one and this better of all the small ones. And we'll take these guys out there and we'll put them in. That should... Uh, boost us with enough power to get through the next horde night with the blade traps. And then we'll just drag these guys around and let them go through the blade traps. He did not cause nearly as much damage as you would expect. Hmm. It's just like five points of damage on things. I'm going to turn this back on. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> Top of variety. Oh, my gosh. That would be very bad. Not funny at all. Not funny. Okay, I got 378 watts going on here, so I think that's probably good. That brought it up another 150 from what we had in there before. This one's at 363, so it should be good. I bet if we repaired this engine, too. Uh, what do we need to repair an engine? Uh, a repair kit. Do we have any repair kits? We do. There's one right there. Oh, she's Pharaoh. Kill her. There we go. What, what did that do? Woman. 363. And then the spotlights, guys. These spotlights are going to be really a huge help. We can uh, get inside here. And we can once it's on, I can actually turn them and, and point them in the direction we want them to go. And when, the, when nighttime comes tonight, we'll go ahead and get that set up so it does that. And now you said that that one trap he did cause damage. Let's go down and see what kind of damage that cop caused to that trap. We'll, uh, yeah, it's not a lot, but... I've got a hammer on me so I can fix it up. I uh, need concrete to fix this over here. Did you say we're removing? Do you want to remove these wood spikes or no? Not yet. Uh, we will be. Yeah, we're going to be moving them. Before Horde Night? Uh, I guess we could leave these in here for now. I guess they're okay. As long as we get everything else upgraded to steel, we should be okay. And then we got to get this gravel dug out of here and get this replaced. I've only got 10 frames on me, so I don't even want to start digging that. We're going to dig this out. All this gravel is going to come out. And we'll just put concrete blocks down here for now. I feel like, Brian, I feel like what we need is like a second layer of stuff that they've got to go through the first layer. And then when they get to the wall, where they've got our traps to deal with here. And then I want to mm -hmm. put shotgun turrets at this level, guys, right in here. We'll put a couple of shotgun turrets on the inside. We'll take some of those blocks out so the shotgun turrets can shoot outwards at them as they get closer. Oh, 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 right. And we got electrical fences, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> I threw my hunting knife. Don't do that. Uh, let's throw these extra traps we have here. Are you out of the area so I can try this no, out? No, not yet. Okay. Just a minute. Let's put these right okay. up in here. I am out. Okay. And then we're going to put these mechanical parts. Actually, you know what? Let's not take all of those. Let's put just some of them here. 
and that should be enough for right now for repairs that we may have to make. I'm going to put that right there for repairs. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's the oh, relays, the wire relays. So uh, should I dig this gravel out like two blocks out? Uh, I need to make sure I've got enough rebar frames made. I don't want a horde showing up before we have the, the, the things. So I'm going to run downstairs real fast and see if I've got more rebar frames made. If I don't, we'll leave it the way it is right now, and then we'll upgrade it once oh, we get those, the rebar frames. All the log spikes in the front are gone. Yeah, I know. I was going to dig the gravel out, but I, I'm i down to 10 rebar frames, so I want to make sure I've I got uh, at least 50 or 60 on me here before we start doing I that. I see. And that, and that. Oh, you guys, look at that magnum grip, huh? For the magnum. I think, is that the only piece of the magnum we have? I guess so. The single-player world, I got more... Um, ah, 77 rebar frames. Lovely. That is exactly what we're looking for. I uh, got steel pumped out, so Variety can do that. We've got these guys right here, which I'm going to use to uh, uh, finish off the rail. I don't think that's enough, but it's going to be a chunk more of it. And then eventually we're going to have a, a way to get down. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh. You coming through there like that? That was nuts. <laughs> All right, let's check the power now that we know she's out of there. Okay, yeah, we're using 202 out of 363, so that's really good. Let's go ahead and turn this one back on, too, and we'll just have these guys running. And how are we doing here? We're uh, 243 out of 378. Not, not too bad. We're, we're okay. Now, that does not mean the lights are not on. So if you look at the lights, uh, this one here is already set to where I want it to be. If I go to here, hold E, do this, I can click on this light, and I can aim this light to where I want it to go. So I'm going to go with that right there, and just hit escape, escape again, and then I, go, I guess I'm going to go back into this one too. And then we could do this right here, so that one's going out that direction, so we're going to put this one over here, like so. And if I... It's on right now. Is this one on too? Is this using more power? Or is it already a... Uh, 243. Let's see what happens when I turn another light on. This one is on, I believe. Let's turn this one on. Does that make this go up? No, it does not. Okay, so they can be on and it's not going to... It's already like a... It says, okay, this has already got power. I see. Okay, we're going to want this one to kind of zoom out this way here. Did I turn it on? There it goes. And here. Again, we want this to kind of shine out front here so we can see them coming in. And it's on, I believe. Right, right, okay, so does this still say 243? Awesome, okay, so we can turn these actually off. That one was off, okay. We have gas, but none of us have the gas schematic, which I think we probably talked about in the last episode. So that's yeah. not a thing. Um, we don't have to talk about that anymore. We don't, I don't want to talk about that no more. That's all I got to say <laughs> about that. About that's all I got to say about that. Oh, jeez. No, stop doing that. Stop putting them in the wrong spot. And they're 2,500 to break, so you don't want to place them wrong. Listen to those blade traps down there, those spinning. That sounds pretty I promising. Hear now I want something to come. So when a witch screams, it looks like we have definitely got the possibility of a cop showing up. What do you think of that? <laughs> yep. It's a real thing. Cops. They're a thing. Oh, for God's sakes. I think it's too early. Can you make me an <laughs> SMG? Uh, I cannot. We have to find the parts and we can put one together, no. but I can't make a gun. The gun crafting skill is nothing more than what level of a gun you can actually get it up to. You, okay. You know what I mean, Jellybean? So we have to find oh, really? the parts. 
okay, so you don't you don't learn the SMG and then you can just make it from steel and stuff. Exactly. Yeah, you, you have to find all the five or six parts. Correct the mundo. And then do you do you have to and you have to read the schematic or buy the perk depending on which one is which, right? You are so right. It is unbelievably right. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, look at this, guys. We actually have, like, a, a kind of a real-looking base. <laughs> I, need, I need... What do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine more iron bars, and then we'll have an iron bar frame around here. And eventually, eventually what we'll, I want to do is I want to... Um, we've got that tunnel digging out this way. I want us to be able to come into the base out here through a, a, a drawbridge on the, on the ground. And we'll just be able to drive down into the base. Gypsy did some work. I should really show that, too. That's pretty cool what she did. Uh, let's go downstairs yeah, real yeah. quick, guys. Yeah. Let's give Gypsy some do. I meant to talk to her about this last night before we got off, but I completely forgot. But uh, let's go down here first, and I'll show you what why she built what she built. Uh, I don't know that we've actually looked at this uh, in here. But right down here, uh, we've all been digging a tunnel. And it comes all the way over here, and I'll open the map when we get down here so you guys can kind of see where we're at. Uh, we've been looking for the iron deposit that's been here, and if you look at the map, we are at a negative 35. Well, I've been finding a lot of the ores and stuff at a negative 28, so if I come up here and go map, we're at negative 26. So negative 26, negative 28, it seems like that's where this stuff starts to show up, is what I'm noticing over and over again. So this is basically going to run up out to the surface and we're going to be able to come in like right here drive down and then go into the base on our, our our little mini bikes and we'll be able to drive straight down this hall dun, 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 dun. get my athletics up by running like this it's awesome and we turn the corner and we'll probably widen that corner out a little bit more so we can get through there easily and then we'll be able to park our bikes right down here and unload everything instead of Pulling up to the front of the building, taking it to the roof, putting it in the chest, then bringing it all the way down here, and then putting it away. We'll just drive down here. That makes the most sense to be able to do something like that. Uh, let's go iron bars. And let me show you what Gypsy made, too. Iron bars. What did I say? I needed nine. We'll make nine of those. Let's do that right there. That's going to take forever. Those probably won't even be ready for this episode. Uh, Gypsy made bedrooms for us. So this is Gypsy's, Gypsy's room right here. She's got her little stuff, a pot of plants, some candles and stuff like that. Kind of a little happy place. And then she got me in variety of place room too. So we could put our, our personal chests and things like that in here. Because everybody's got their own treasures they love. And then let's go back here and see if I've shown you guys this area here. Uh, variety is still digging like a crazy woman back in here. What's back in this room here that you've been digging out? Just iron We've been and stuff? trying to find the rest of the coal, the coal deposit. This is our ladder that comes down right here. Uh huh. And the coal deposit kind of came back in here as well. So. Oh, there's. Looks like there's up on the ceiling here. Oh. Thank you. Uh, yeah, 46 coal. <laughs> Did it fall on you? No, I backed up in time. Yeah, so we've just been. Trying to find the rest of the deposits here. And, and Alex still says that there's like a nitrate and iron area back in here and coal that we're kind of digging around. I believe it. Um, like I said, I think I think it's a little bit higher than what we expected it to be. Oh, and guys, this is our, our little storage room and food room. And then Gypsy's got this water thing she does with the buckets of water, which we're going to try that out on our single player world too. But you can see she's got a reservoir here. She could fill this up and take a bucket of water, fill it, scoop water back into the bucket, and then fill up as many glass jars as she has with the water that's left over in here. Is that right? Yeah. And then she put a safe up too. All our cold hard cash is in a safe. So, Look at you giving away our secret. <laughs> what if there's a break in? Right, I know, right? Especially when people leave the server on. Right. <laughs> But we did confirm that time does not run when we're not online. That's true. That is true, which was a good thing because we thought we may have missed Horde 935, but we did not. Uh, so let's go ahead and put some of this other stuff away. We can take that out of here. And look at this. Here. Open this chest and see what kind of ammo I've got going on oh, in there. Oh, all right. All right. Let's see. Oh, my God. Look at all this heavenly stuff. Molotovs. Uh, we've got iron crossbow bolts. 
you had some explosive 125 exploding bolts, which is going to be super handy. Um, you should replace your iron oh, bolts in your inventory with oh, those steel oh, bolts oh, in there. Oh, look at that. Well, I'll use these up while we're out, and then when I horde night comes, I'll put these guys back on. But I don't want to waste them on just regular old zombies. You know what I mean? That's awesome. That is really awesome. We're looking pretty good. Uh, we have no coal right now. Oh, you know what? Do we have... Uh, I've got 46 on me right now, but do we have any... Um, we don't have nitrate either, huh? No. Oh, boy. Uh, that's I not know. good. That's not good. Um, wow, that is not good. We're going to have to go back to the desert and see if we can't find some nitrate. Could you make some more steel in this forge over here? Um, that one, the first one? Yeah. Uh, steel. There's another 128 coming there. And forge steel. Another 73 in there. Uh, steel. 217 in here. Oh, nice. And we've got iron. There's not enough clay in this one to even bother with. But if you want to put clay in this uh, this last forge that's not cooking, it'll okay. smelt down that clay, and then I could take that and turn that into steel as well, and we'll be good to go. Listen to those machines up there. Oh, somebody's getting ground up. I'm missing it. Oh, man. <laughs> that's the fun part. Watch it. Oh, it's a witch, too. I hope she gets her head ground right off. I don't hear anymore. Sounds to me like she met her maker. What do you think? Sounds like it. I think so. She, you, you don't hear her downstairs? No, I didn't hear her nice. at all. Oh. So we've used a little bit of fuel for it being on, but just a little bit. Now, we can't make our gas yet. I think I mentioned that, but we've got quite a bit stocked up, so I can leave the traps running for a little bit anyways. It's going to be getting dark out soon, guys, too, so I'll turn the the, uh, the spotlights on, and we'll take a look and see how it lights up the area. Let's go ahead and get these guys uh, set up and uh, directional. And this one here. There I am. Hello. Uh, we're going to go like here with it, I guess that and then just E to turn it off okay beautiful hold down E let's get that back again and we'll take this guy right here and shine him out there he's on and now he's off okay and I think we've got two more to set and then we're good to go and then we can fiddle around with these a little bit more at night oh this is on is this one on too think so. Let's see here. Uh, that's the garden. Let's go right there with that one. Oh. Okay, it turns on and off. Nice. And we'll do this one here too. And we're going to go out this way with it. So for the spotlights, all you got to do, Variety, is walk up and click E and it'll, it'll, mm -hmm. it'll turn them on and off. But they okay. should all be set up so we can see outside of the base. Now, I, I do not know if they draw the zombies, these lights. I don't think they do. And they don't put off a heat signature either. So we should be okay. I think we're going to be okay. And I'm hoping by having one on each corner like this, when we point it this direction, we'll kind of be able to light up the area down below, which is going to be kind of helpful to us. Okay, so I've got the rebar. Let's go do a little bit of digging and see if we can't get this gravel dealt with up front. Because this has been... This has been one of our bad problems here. What, 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 why can't I open the, the trap door? There it is. I guess I'm standing on it. Let's go ahead and start right here. Take all this dirt out of here and get it out. And I have a supply of concrete on me. Oh, do you? Okay. Hey, you know what? You want these rebar frames and you can lay them while I'm digging? 
Okay. Oh, cool. right there in that little bag. I haven't done this before. Is this just like the wood frame? Yep. It's just a rebar frame. Drop it down and then uh, right click on it with your tool and it should fill it in and it's going to be uh, beautiful. How many are we going out? Right here, the right where I'm area? digging. Yeah, right where I'm digging. We're going this far out. This should be good. Let's go right to there. There we go, and we're going to take that out right there. Beautiful. All right, nice. I think I've got enough there. Maybe I don't. We might have to make some more. Hopefully we don't. We'll see if you got enough to fill this, this little area right here, and then we'll... Uh, Awesome. Jamming. And then we gotta look at electric fences. Oh, yeah. And turrets. <laughs> Shotgun turrets. For sure. Right. But this stuff does not stop a zombie. Zombie can bust through that so fast. Make your head spin. How you doing on rebar frames? Uh, 23 left. Okay, let's see. Let's make sure you can fill in what I dig up so we don't have them coming up. And getting in here. Stop digging then. Yeah, stop them. How we doing? You got some more? Uh, I have four more. Four more, huh? Oh boy. One, two, three, four. So we need at least, probably 30 more of those at least, I would say. Okay. I'll start down here and start reinforcing these guys in. I got a little bit of concrete on me too. Bump, bump. So let's talk about how much fun we're having playing the game. <laughs> I mean, I, I okay. love it. I love it. I think it's a really a well done game. I love the fact that there's just so much to do. Look at that, that's sexy. Yeah, that's good. That should be good. We'll get them to go in there mm -hmm. and just start grinding up. Oh yeah, we got some busted up posts up front here we need to fix up. You know if you hold down right on the right click on the tool, it'll just automatically click on what needs to be repaired. Yeah, but if I hold both in my inventory, then it does stuff that I don't want it to do. Oh, this is true. Yeah, if you've got steel, it'll Can you start. turn that off? Uh, yeah. For now? Mm -hmm. Eventually, I want to put them on a switch. But like I said, this time around, we're just kind of fooling around with it to see how it works. So we just go E and turn off. I suppose what I could do is I could... They're not off. Not all of them, no. Um, that is a really great sound effect. Uh -huh. I th what I should do is put the spotlights on their own generator. I think there's also there's a timer. Let's go. Let's go into here and take a look. There's a relay. If I type in electrical timer relay, this one allows me to set the time so we could have it actually turn the spotlights on uh, it's say spotlights come on when zombies start running spotlights go off at you know 4 a.m. they just automatically turn on and turn off each day so that's pretty cool uh, and it probably saves you some power too I don't know but that would be pretty awesome so there's a lot of things still to play with but uh, to get things up and running and to check it out I think we did pretty good I think we're we think we're doing pretty good with uh, just kind of fooling around with this base uh, variety can you take this relay out and this relay out. These two here. You should just have to hold E and then use the little hand thing. We don't even need this one really, but we'll leave that there. Oh man. What a great okay. day. What a great day. So much done. It's an amazing day. 
I'm going to put both of them in this chest by the forge. Cool, that's where I can put the extra stuff for the, the traps anyway, so that's perfect. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we tore that diner down, and we tore the gas station completely down as well. The oil pits are still there, <laughs> and I put spikes in one of them just because I thought it would be fun to watch a zombie fall in there and get ground up. So far, they've only... It worked. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, they definitely... Uh, they don't like that. Oh, there's a zombie down there. Did you search that dead one down there? In that trap? Uh -huh. Oh, that one there? Uh-uh. I wonder if she's got, if it's got anything good. That was a witch. Let's see if there's any goodies on it. Mm-hmm. You never know. You just never know. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Good for nothing, zombie. Yeah, I, I feel like we need to double this out. So we come out to about this far right here and then have all of this that they've got to get through in order to get to that point right there. Uh, what about this right here? Can I fix this? Ooh, that's a damaged block. I'm willing to bet that cop had something to do with it just now. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I know the traps aren't completely even all the way around, but like I said, again, we are trying to uh, learn the game before we, uh, you know, jump completely in. We're just having some fun with the stuff right now and see how it works. Right, Variety? Right. Right. And then all these spikes are going to be upgraded to steel. Ouch, 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 ouch. So they should have a, a much greater effect on the zombies as well. Uh, I'm waiting for the sun to go down. I'll tell you what, when it gets dark out, I'll come back, we'll turn this on, and we'll see what it's like in the dark with the spotlights on, okay? So stick around, I'll be right back. Hey, how'd this iron bar get up here like this? That's weird. And we're back. Alright, let's go see how these spotlights work. We're almost at the, the witching hour of the running zombies, but we'll go out here and take a look. We turn my light off. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. We could probably use one more out here, or we could angle them a little bit more, but I think that gives off quite a bit of light. Uh, we probably need one more spotlight in the center area here. Put it up on a little post, aiming down into the center of each side. That's probably what we'll have to do. Yeah, something like that. Let's check the sides here and see. I think it does a pretty good job here. It doesn't show the pit, but the pit doesn't really matter. It's not lighting up the undercarriage of this either, but we could run, string some lights underneath here to light up that area. Plus, we'll have our headlamps on, so that's not a big deal. Uh, we need to finish rebarring this up right here. Let's go and check out here by the farm. Let's go out this way. Let's go way down here. That looks really cool. I love those lights. Yeah, these need to come and angle more this direction here, a little bit more this way. Oh, look at the damage up here from these guys. Need some steel in order to fix those. Let's check out back. Not too shabby. Not too shabby for our first try at this sort of thing. Turn it off. Yeah, it's, it shows up a little bit. It's We do need one more light, though, to kind of really... Uh, give us that effect that we want, huh? We definitely want uh, at least one more on each side to uh, brighten things up enough. I'm pretty sure that's not my bike. That's not my bike either. Yeah, my bike's ready to rock and roll, baby. We're getting out of here. All right, nice. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I love those lights. Those are awesome. Uh, let me turn my headlamp back on so you guys can see. All right, so we're doing good. It, it, uh, let's see, with everything on, we're using 243 watts out of 378 on this Jenny. And how, how quickly does it use, let's call it a gallon of gas out of 1,000? About every 15, 20 seconds, probably 30 seconds. 822, 821, I'd say probably every 20 seconds it's using a gallon of gas. So we're going to have to make sure we put, uh, we fill these up before Horde Night starts. 202 out of 363, so we're doing really well there too. Awesome. Just going to let them run. Just let them run. 
Very cool. Brad, are you back in here with me? She's not. It's laundry day here at the house. So Variety is running back and forth to do I am. Oh, I'm you here. are? Okay. I just Sweet. forgot to turn your mic on. Yeah. All right. I think that's going to be an episode. What do you think? What's, what What? What? do we should we do on day 34? Because day 35 is Horde Night, and we're going to do that with Gypsy. She's got to be here for that. So what do you think? Um... <laughs> I, I thought we would probably do day 35 today before we went on vacation. Oh. I hadn't planned on it because Gypsy's not here. Okay. I think we should come back and do day 35 from vacation. With a bang. Oh my goodness. We're out of coal and we're out of nitrate. So there's those two things. Um, Iron-wise, I think we've got enough iron to smelt down and probably get the steel we need. Yeah, we've got plenty of iron still going right here, so I think we're okay that in that regard. Um, but we need nitrate. We're out of nitrate completely. And we, we do have, need nitrate. And we've got just 481 coal. So we could try to find a nitrate mine. We could just go around the forest with our shovel and dig up the soil, the, the gravel, and see if we bump into nitrate. And, and dig okay. that up. We could do that and try that out. Uh, and then while we're out there, we could do some hunting and stuff like that. It's so dark in here. Ooh, spooky. Yeah, but Gypsy's been doing a lot of the decor work with the pictures and stuff like that. I guess Bridie too, probably, huh? Um, I have not spent too much time doing that, no. no I've been huh? trying to find a, a coal mine or a nitrate vein or something. There's the nitrate right there. That's all nitrate right there. I just got it. That's even more nitrate right here. Really? You speak and it shows up? It's in it's been down here with us the whole time. I don't think I can reach that. That's nitrate there. Nitrate. Nitrate. More nitrate. Oh, that's nitrate right all the way through here. <laughs> okay. We might not have to go out and get nitrate. Let's get a let's get a, a block. To stand on before we say goodbye here let's do that <laughs> yeah we got nitrate right here in the base let's do it right here nitrate nitrate nice it looks like that's it though huh and we got some coal up there that might be a little bit of nitrate right there can i swing and jump that's not nitrate okay i think i got what was left down here how much did we wind up picking up off of that right there uh, 368. That's nothing. <laughs> that is <laughs> no. nothing. But that's nitrate right there. There's another 45. Oh, there's more right here, too. I'm gonna block up and get it. Hopefully there's nothing that doesn't cave in on us. Nitrate. Nitrate. That's, that's, that's gravel right there, so I... Th think yep that's got it so we wound up with about 503 nitrates so we can actually take that with the coal that we picked up just a little bit ago uh, and take it and put it into here and go gunpowder and 481 gunpowder coming our way nice and we got 22 nitrate left over Okay, beautiful. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, we'll be on vacation for a week, so we won't have any episodes up while we're gone. Uh, but when we get back, we'll be uh, back at it again, making videos and all that good stuff. Where are you at, Variety? Oh, you're I'm in my my little mining hole that I'm doing. Digging around in. Okay, all right. So uh, we thank you for your time. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, hit the like button for us. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03 with Variety 3. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time. Bye.